All right. Okay, guys. So we are all by 296%. Okay. I hope we get to that, um, you know, I hope we get to that 500% before the market drops and all of that. So the way it works, okay, the way the jump X, 1077X leverage work is very simple and it is a product of each only. You don't do it from the normal features or the copy trading option, okay? And for now, it is only available on the web. So you go to features and then you go ahead and click on this 1077X features. And at the moment, okay, it is only BTC pair that is available. So you can only use this high leverage on BTC alone. It is good for scalping. Now, if you are not careful, okay, if you don't know what you're doing and you just come in here to start trading, you will lose your money, all right? And as I said earlier, um, it is actually the minimum you can start with is um, the minimum. Let me just close this, okay? Uh, that's 200% uh, plus. Let me close this. We'll re-enter the trade again. Okay, it's as simple as that. I just closed it and one hand, it has closed. All right, so we'll re-enter the trade again. Uh, it's very simple. The minimum you can start with is $10, all right? And whenever you open a trade here, automatically there is a 500% um, TP that is set for you. So it means if, you're, if that market goes in your favor up to 500%, automatically the trade will close. And then there is automatic stop loss, which is minus 80% that is set for you, okay? And you have the option to use between 500x leverage, 800x leverage, or the highest leverage, which is 1,077x leverage, okay? Just um, sign up on JumpX if you want to, and then go ahead and transfer, okay? You need to make a deposit. There's no P2P here. Let me see if I can short and make another small money. Let's do another 0 0.2 BTC. And I'm doing, you know, just market order. That's what is, uh, yeah. Let's see, let me do 100% for this as the T, as a, as a TP, okay? Once it's 100%, we want to close and see if that will give us, um, you know, that 100%, okay? So let's see how it goes. Let's see how the short trade goes. Yeah, we are already, um, you know, up by 25% or there about, okay? And so on, <clears throat> all right? So that's basically how you use this. So you deposit money from other exchanges, okay, into your, your jump x exchange and then you come into the 1077 x okay and then you use this option right here click on this option you transfer whatever you want to use into the account and the beautiful thing is that it is on on isolated margin right it is not on cross so even if you transfer the whole money in the world here you will not be losing it's only that when you enter the trade with that's what you'll be losing so the minimum you can open a trade with here is ten dollars and then the maximum can be as high as whatever you want all right. So if you want to play around with leverage, if you want to, you know, make some money for yourself, just, you know, trying to grow your account sharp, sharp. All right. Uh, go and try the jump X, uh, 1077X leverage. Plot. But just know, okay, know that uh, the same way to give you fast money or quick money, okay, is the same way to take that money from you as well. All right. So in this way, your liquidation, as you can see right here, my liquidation is just, if this market gets um, up to, uh, that's around 63,000, okay? I will get liquidated. So it means I'm going to lose, uh, what's the margin I enter this trade again with $11, okay? So I'm going to lose that if it gets to 63, all right, and all of that. But if we get 100%, we're already up by 40%. So 100% is what I'm looking for. 100%, exactly. The trade closed, all right? So you see that just one candle on the one minute time frame, okay? Just that little move, the trade has already closed and I'm up by 100%. So it means that that, hundred, um, what's it called? That uh, eleven dollars, I made another eleven dollars putting that. So if I make it up to let's say hundred dollars or thereabout, okay, you can be closing your trades at um, you know twenty percent. Uh, I think the minimum you can close a trade with. Let me just see if I can set a quick one again. I think the minimum is hundred percent actually, right? The minimum is hundred percent. So you can close your trades at hundred percent. You can close your trades at two hundred, and then the maximum is five hundred percent. Now, don't be, don't, don't, don't worry. There is no fee, okay? There are no fees. There are no slippage and all of that. All you just need to do is just to trade. So don't be afraid that oh, there will be funding rate, there will be fee, there will be that. For now, there are no fees, okay? You don't pay fees there, and there, there, there are no slippage. Okay, so that's basically how that stuff works. If you want to play around with leverage, go and try it out. Okay, and let me know. <laughs> let me know how it goes whenever you try it out. Okay, let me know how it goes. And um, just be careful. Don't lose your money.
Okay, these things are meant to make you money, but if you use them carelessly, you start losing money. Is that understood? Any question as regards the the jump X exchange? Go ahead. Okay, go ahead. I'll post the link. I'll post the link if you want to try it out. Okay, I think I have that um a post on that already. But if you have questions, go ahead. I'll just repost that on the um, the channel. So go and see if you can try it out yourself and see what you can achieve with it. I think I should go another shot again. Should I go another shot? <laughs> But now I'm tempted to increase the amount this time around. You see, that is, you know, one thing with money. I'm tempted to increase the amount this time around. But, yeah, I would have gotten another 500 there, guys. I would have gotten another 500 there. But it is what it is. We'll look for another entry. Okay, I want to look for an entry to the upside. Let this one come down first, then I'll look for another entry. But why wait for that? Um, if you have questions, go ahead and ask. If not, there's a trade that I want us to look at, um, a token that has been flying. I think somebody shared either Rich.com or Amy or BMC, one of them shared this thing. Or somebody on the group actually shared Reef. And Reef has been flying. I actually noticed Reef from 0. Uh, I think 0. 0.02 or so. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Currently, we're at 4.7. <laughs> Look at that. I decided to jump in with market order, and I think I'm up by more than 200% at the moment. Yeah. I just FOMO'd into it. I'm up by 300%. That's great. Okay. I decided to FOMO into the stuff and um, it has been flying. Okay. I don't know who is uh, who is doing this. Okay, guys. But Reef has actually been flying. Okay. Reef has been flying. I don't know. Let me close up my position to be on the safe side. So I'll close. Um, um, let's say close half 50%. Yeah, and then move stop to entry. So let me secure this one for before we look for new entry. Okay, <laughs> okay. So my entry should be around um, stop loss. Right now. Where is that average entry? Okay, yeah. So I have to secure this one. Very very important, and then we'll allow it to continue to run. I'm looking for new entries, okay? The way it's moving, I believe that this thing will continue. This this just, you know, I, I wonder why I didn't pay attention to this, all right? I was actually the one that drew this, you know, this falling wedge here. And that stuff broke, that stuff, you know, it broke out and it has been going up and up and up. I just realized it when I saw it that it's one of the top rank, you know, trade right here. Okay, yeah, do you have question? Go ahead and ask your questions, but then we can look for new entries. I'm looking for new entries for okay. this trade. The, to the upside or to the downside. Yes, go ahead, please. Yeah, reef.com, were you the one that shared? Did you share reef, uh, reef trade on the pla on the, on the, on the, on, on the channel? Right? Did you share reef? I saw somebody shared reef uh, or somebody was talking about reef. I can't remember, but I know. Okay, those of you who have been trading it, congratulations to you, but if not, uh, we we'll look for new entries, okay? Uh, so for jumpers, let me just make a post so that you can go sign up for an account if you want to try out a thousand and seventy-seven S leverage. Yes, I can hear you. Go ahead, please. I see. Well, I don't know what's the problem. You know, my account is not verified. This jump is on to this BTC ad, but since that time that I talked to you about it, up to today, I was trying, trying, but it's not going seriously. It did not bear the time. Uh, you know, the way these exchanges now, uh, the way they have done the, uh, I would have said, okay, let me, let me help and, and tell customer care, but the way this, um, this, there is this particular, you know, website or software that they're using in doing this verification. Customer care cannot help you. Even if the customer care is your father, they can't assist, assist you on that. Right. So maybe you should try a different ID. The verification is actually very simple. I don't know why you, maybe you should try a different ID. Maybe a voter's card or a, any other ID, a government issue ID card. Try a different oh. thing from the one you've been using. All right. Oh. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. The verification doesn't take much time because everything now is automated. AI will just automatically verify you and the rest. So customer care no longer assist in, in verification across all exchanges. So once you try it once and it doesn't go through, automatically you are blocked. Even that's what happened to my Telegram. Tele Telegram wallet, I can't use it because I was blocked in trying to do verification. I chatted support, they said there's nothing they can do, <laughs> right? And uh, I just have to abandon the wallet. I just have to abandon the wallet. I don't need it any longer, so. All right. 
uh, just try, 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 try a different idea and let me know when you get verified so that uh, we can see how you can, you know, get started with this stuff. Awesome. Okay. okay. Uh, good afternoon. Yeah. Okay. Actually, I just joined uh, this your channel uh, from YouTube today. So, and uh, I saw the signal that was dropped today, but I don't know if I'm to enter the signal or it's already late. And secondly, I discovered that you are making use of your desktop to assess the by data. Uh, application but in my side here yeah, i don't know it's hard for me to assess it through my desktop please just use the link i've been posting sign up with my bible link sign up with my bible link on the channel use the link okay once you're able to log in just bookmark that link okay just bookmark that link use that particular link there go in instead of registering look for the sign up option uh the login option log into your account and then bookmark that link that's the link you should be using as well to access your Bybit without a VPN on your browser, all right? Okay, then what about the uh, signal that is being posted on the group? Because I saw that the thing has already come to very well before and it's, it's immediately that they posted it that I saw it. So I was kind of like, is it already gone or we should still enter it? You can see it. If you see it immediately, always set limit orders for the trades, okay? Always set limit orders for the trades, except if they, you know, I, I talked about limit order the other day, right? If it is a long trade, right? If it is a long trade and the price is lower than the entry price, that's when limit will not work. But for as long as the price is slightly above the, the entry price, just set a limit order for it. It will pick the trade. Okay, it will pick the trade and all of that. There's a bot I'm currently testing. If the bot, the do is coming on and off, I times it to just close my trade. Once the trade is 20%, it will close it. Uh, it doesn't allow me to hit full TP and all of that. Those are some of the challenges I'm trying to fix. So when those people who are in charge of it, once they fix it, I will make it available for you guys. So that once the signal drops automatically, it triggers on your Bybit account. That's what I'm trying to achieve. But there have been some technical issues with it. So once everything works out very well, I'll make it open so that you don't have to miss the trades, okay? And the way the board is customized is that it will close part of your position at TP1. It will close part of your position at TP2. And then at TP4, it will close every, every of the trades, okay? It will close all the trades and the rest. So that's what I'm working on. Once it plays out, I will let you guys know so that you don't miss that. But whenever you get this signal, set a limit order for it, okay? Set a limit order for it. And then after two, three hours, if it doesn't trigger, cancel all the orders and wait for another signal. That's basically how it works. Yeah, yes, hello. Yeah, good, evening. good afternoon. Yes, good afternoon. Sorry, I'm seeing a green light on... on, on, on um... On 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 uh, BTC, I'm seeing a green light there to to long trade to three thousand plus. Is it is it okay? Like, I don't know whether you have analyzed it as well. Did you say to three thousand plus? I mean, I mean to sixty three thousand. Like I want to long it to sixty three thousand because it's around sixty two thousand uh, eight hundred. So I want to long it to sixty three thousand. I don't know that anybody else has seen it. Yeah, I think we will need, but let me see BTC again, BTC, USDT. I'm equally looking for a long trade. Okay, I want to use that 1077X leverage to open a long trade and see. This time around, instead of manually closing it, I want to see if I can get to that level of, uh, you know, 500% um, percent, and then I'll close the trade. Yeah, BTC, uh, let me do five minutes. Um, Okay. All right. So if you check from the current price, all right, if you check from that's the first thing you want to look at the current price till this level right here. Okay. This level of um, uh, 61,500 that will broke at it's about 2% or thereabout. If you're ready to reach 2%, why not? Okay. I'll start. I'll say you start. If you are using buy bid, why not use a scale order to start buying, you know, BTC? So what I'll basically encourage you to do is, let me just even give you an entry for BTC right here. Okay. So put my stop loss just there. Um, let me change this to, 
yeah a btc gets to that level of 62 500 okay 517 or there about i'll buy i'll take it long i'll add to my position if it gets to 62 090 okay and then i'll add another position if it gets to 60 61 700 okay uh with a stop loss around that area there so i'm going to use this to average you know my entry okay so yeah set it set a trade for that set a, a, a long trade that's basically what i'll be looking at and i'm doing this thing on the five minutes anyways this is your tp right this is your tp if all these other triggers that's good for you okay but let's use that pivot point level there which is at 64 okay and then we'll put a stop loss around that area now the stop loss you are seeing is about two percent plus but if i have average these three entries the stop loss will no longer be two percent so if you are ready to raise that go ahead use the scale order okay first entry at 62 517.3 second entry at um, 62 um 090.5 and then third entry at 61 707 and then stop loss will be somewhere around that 61 200 okay so go ahead and set a limit order for that and um, let's see if it triggers okay let's see if that triggers but I'll do market order and see how far that can go. All right. I'll do market order and see how far that can go. Then at this point here, I will now keep adding to the trade and I'm ready to close if BTC goes below that 62,300, um, 61,300 rather. Okay. Uh, that's what I'm looking at for BTC. So if you want to, you are free to take that trade. Okay. You are free to take that trade. Okay. Um, yeah uh any other question so uh, please uh i want to ask uh, if there is any you know crypto that you can suggest for us to keep a loop like uh, let me say this of crypto that you think please that you think that you're going to you know pump or that it has a it has a, a, a good potential that we should be I looking on like we should put it in our list so that you know we can easily because based on this signal that just dropped is it a whiff yeah based on it because i discovered that it has worked very well before it was posted in the group so i'm kind of being afraid to enter that's why okay so if i do that now i won't be fair to those who actually pay to get that list of uh, tokens to buy all right you know you, are, you if you have been in the group you see uh you'll notice that there was a time we're posting list of coins spot coin to buy for buron spot token to buy for buron nobody was paying attention to that now if i now come and compile a list and send to you i'm not being fair to those who have paid already okay so just keep joining uh anyone will mention if he resonates with you buy okay but that list is actually reserved for those who paid for it so that's basically it. so we can't do that at this moment all right i can't do that right because people already paid for those information and we have given it to them already okay let me see if i can get another hundred percent here or let me just leave it at that um let me leave it at uh, you know the 500 let's see how it goes let's see if we can get another 500 right here guys <laughs> i uh, just love it, it leverage is good. sorry uh hello leonard uh, can you hear me good yes i can hear you good afternoon yeah right so um i just wonder because i'm doing a bad stop loss like uh i will say my risk ratio is one to three. It's mean like, um, example, what is, what do you mean by, uh, use five minus 5% as a stop loss? Like, uh, you can talk to me like this. For example, what, what I'm see this example entry price is $10,000. Yes. And stop loss price is needs to be 9,500, like 5% uh, below entry rate. This is what you mean by uh, five percent as a stop loss. Yes. yes. Oh, okay. Um, so and nice. Then, and then I will explain that. Um, I will add more to that using this particular uh, setup I have here, right? So if, mm -hmm. for instance, yeah. I buy BTC right at this entry of sixty two five hundred, okay, my stop loss right now is around sixty one two hundred. 
So it means that BTC needs to go down by minus 2%. So if I click on this, okay, if you check this red bar here, in bracket, you see 2.04%, okay? That is the percentage yeah. BTC would need to drop to for me to get out of this trade. And this percentage is without leverage, all right? Now, when you now use leverage, you will now multiply this according to the size of the leverage you are using. So if I'm using 10x leverage, it means 10 multiplied by two. So this market will need to go against me by minus 20% for it to hit my stop loss. So if you use a 20x leverage, you multiply the 2% by 2. So when I say minus 5%, it is minus 5% without leverage. And then when you now add leverage, okay, when you now add leverage, it will now be, let's say your 5x leverage multiplied by 5 or 10x leverage multiplied by 5 and all of that. But if you are just doing spot without leverage, then there is no need of calculating all of that. So what I understand that if I'm doing 10x leverage, uh, I need to multiply by uh, 2%. You, you don't need to because on the exchange, for instance, on Bybit, when you go to set your TP and SL, you will see yep. the option to put your price. And then by your right, you see the option to put the price in percentage. So the stop loss, oh, if you no. just type in 50 there, automatically to put minus 50% on it. Okay, then on the TP level, if you put 50%, there won't be any minus or plus sign in front. If you put 50% or 100%, that's what is there. But on the stop loss option, instead of typing the price, instead of going to give yourself the headache of trying to know where the price is or whatever, most especially with this coin that has a 0, 0.0000 and the rest, all you just need to do on the stop loss option, just go to the percentage option and type, I can't do that. Okay, let me see if I can join with my phone so that I will just show you that. You just go ahead and type my uh, and type fifty percent. Automatically, it will be minus fifty percent for you. So automatically, it will be minus fifty percent, and that will be recorded for for your trade. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So so uh, I don't know any other exchange. I think all the exchanges actually have you know that option to put you know in percentage or in uh to put your stop loss either in percentage or you know put the price of the coin okay yeah i think i can join with my second phone so that i'll just show you that yeah um, so uh, because uh, because i'm loose i while I, why i'm like uh talking about a stop loss because i know that my stop loss is wrong based on vif uh usdt uh recently you posted uh post about vif and Average entry price, my price entry, it's 1.70. And average close price, it's 1.693. And right now, now it's 1.70. And this is, this is mean I can make profit, but I did not take profit because of my stop loss. Like, you see, like what I'm, wh why I'm like bringing up to you this topic about the stop loss, because if I will like, Put little uh, bigger stop loss. I will make money eventually. Yeah, yeah. That's why that's why I don't put stop loss right. But I just to share with you what I do. You can actually mm -hmm. set. You can decide to use hundred percent as a stop loss, whatever that you know that that you are comfortable with. Okay, but let's let's look at. You said your average entry price for Weave was what? Uh, one seven zero. Okay, 170, and the stop loss was what? Sorry, 1.70. And what stop loss, stop? Uh, it's a 1.6932. Yeah. That was too, and too close. Your stop loss was 0 0.5, 0 0.4 rather. The stop loss yeah, was yeah. 0 0.4, so it was too close. This would have taken you at... Okay, when I say 5%, it's just make your 5% would have been, uh, this is where, if you have done 5%, this is where your stop loss would have been. Okay, Interesting. your stop loss would have yeah. been around this area here. Okay, this is, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's um, okay, this is 4.9. Well, 5% would have been somewhere around there. So it means that you would have still been in that trade if you have used 5%. Okay, so that 0 0.4 yeah. you put there was too close. It was actually too close. 
you know, we, we have not started moving that much. If the volatility is that high, but even when the volatility is high, you know that it will go up and then come back and all that. So your stop loss, 5% is okay. All right. 5% right here is okay. Yeah. Thank, so thanks. We, thanks to learn. Okay. Yeah. Welcome. Okay, so now on the stop loss stop, let me just show you briefly that on Bybit. Um, let me show you that on Bybit so that, and then you can apply it with whatever other exchange you're using. But uh, I'll just show you with Bybit. Uh, so mm. let me share screen. Yeah, screen right here. Start, and then go to my Bybit. Okay, yeah, so this is by bid. I'm on Gala right now. Let's say I want to enter a trade, I'll just go ahead and enter and then I'll put in, let's say, 200. Okay, and mm -hmm. um, to set TP and SL, I'll just click on it. Now, when this dialog box pops up, you see that here, where's my marker? Okay, I don't have a marker here, but if you can see where I'm touching on the screen, okay, the touch stuff is not working. But right here, okay, where you have this slider that I'm moving, okay, you see that if I move the slider, by the left, you see the price of the coin, and by the right, you see the percentage. Okay, I don't need to use this slider. I can come in here and say, okay, I want to take profit when it gets to one fifty percent. All right, and remember, you I'm doing for long. If it is short, you want to switch to the short option. Okay, mm -hmm. but I'm I'm doing for long now for the stop loss option. I don't need to use the price option. Okay, so I'll go to the percentage option, which is the one by the right. You will see ROI in percentage yeah. okay then you just type in here 50 percent that is if i'm doing 10x leverage with um you know 10x leverage with five percent stop loss okay if for instance yeah. it's two percent stop loss that should be with 10x leverage that should be around 20 percent so i just type whatever number i type here automatically the exchange will put a you know a subtraction in front of it, a minus in front of it, meaning that this is your stop loss and all of that. So instead of just mm -hmm. going to type, just say, okay, I want to risk 5% in this trade and what will 5% give me with the 10X leverage? That will be 50%, okay? So you go ahead and type in 50% here and um, you confirm and you go ahead and open your trade and you are good. That's basically how you do that. Great, and what what I understand that a fifty percent uh, ROI minus it needs to be a, a twenty percent uh, like ROI. Okay, uh, how much I need to put leverage if I'm putting minus fifty percent? It's a ten leverage. Uh, it, this is not particular to a, a leverage. Okay, is what you are comfortable to lose. Okay, right now now let me go back. Let's say this trade here. Sorry, let me get my marker so that you get, you follow what I'm doing right here. Okay, let me go back. Uh, now, look at this, okay? I'm going to, I'm using, right now, I'm using um, 75X leverage on Gala, okay? And then if I want to buy Gala watch 200 USDT, because I'm using 75X leverage, it's going to cost me just $2. That's around uh, 2.8 so that's what it's going to cost me because i'm using a very high leverage now yeah. i don't want to start tempering with this level because i have a trade that is running on gala okay so that it doesn't change if i go ahead and change this leverage um let's say i change it to 10x leverage and i still want to buy gala worth 200 dollars because i'm using 10x leverage it's going to cost me around um 20 i think 20 dollars or thereabout okay so the higher the leverage the lower the margin you are using okay and then they lower mm -hmm. the level, the higher the margin you want to be using. So right now, if I decide to buy, let's say I decide to buy Gala Ward 500 with a 75X leverage, that is going to cost me around $7, okay? So on the yeah. stop loss, some persons ordinarily will want to, you know, that $7 is nothing. They don't want to use stop loss. And if you are doing that on, um, on the an insulated margin, it means that you are risking just that seven dollars you've entered the trade with. But mm -hmm. if I'm doing this on cross margin, which is what I'm currently on, okay, I'm cross margin. I don't want to start switching. So there is need for me to put stop loss. So what will mm -hmm. I do? I'll come in here normally with that high leverage. I normally use seventy five x leverage. Okay, um, seventy seventy five percent rather. Okay, so I'll just yes. push this slider from the beginning to the end. Okay. 
the end year will give you 75. All right. The way Bybit set up this, their, you know, stop loss is a one to two. Okay. A one to two yeah. risk reward, which is what they used to set. If you are using the slider. So if I use a slider, it will be times two or whatever that I'm risking. Right. So I just come to the stop loss and then I slide it to the end. So if the market goes against me by minus 75%, so this is what I'll be losing out of, you know, that seven dollars that I'm entering the trade with. Okay, that's what I'll be losing, and I'm okay with it. Okay, I'll just go ahead and confirm, and then I'll open that trade. So the amount you want to lose is now left to you to decide. If, for instance, I enter this trade with five hundred dollars, I cannot use seventy-five x leverage, um, seventy-five percent as my stop loss. So if I use seventy-five s, it's seventy-five percent, and I'm using Five hundred dollars as margin, it means that I'm losing over uh, four hundred and something dollars in that trade, which is not a good stuff. Okay, so when I when I use that high margin, I will just do either twenty x leverage, or uh, I'm sorry, twenty percent or at most fifty percent. That's what I do. Okay, at most fifty percent. So it means I'm risking maybe two hundred fifty dollars out of the five hundred that I'm entering that trade with. All right. That's basically all this stop loss is your own according to your own, you know, risk tolerance. So you can decide to say, okay, I'm going to use $1,000 as margin in this trade. And out of this $1,000, I don't want to risk more than $50. So it means if the market, it takes away $50 from me, I'll close the trade. Okay. If you use one, uh, 75X leverage, maybe just one point will take away that $50 and that is it. So in that case, you want to blend the stop loss or the amount of money you are ready to raise plus your margin and the leverage, okay, in order to stay in the market a bit longer, all right? So you mm -hmm. blend that to be able to help you um, take care of all of those um, issues. I don't know if that yeah, is I'm, clear. I understand. Yeah, you thank you. Thank you a lot. Yeah. You're welcome. Okay, so I was afraid that, um, you know, my trade will go against me, but it seems that it's still going in my show. Let me share my browser so that we'll... any other question as regards this, I'm on Bybit now, I won't go back to my app again. Any other question as regards this? Every other, uh, I believe we all understood what I'm explaining here or what I was trying to explain. Okay, thank you. So let me go back to my browser, share screen. Let me stop. Uh, let me stop sharing Okay, so let me share the screen from the browser. The trade is still running. I was thinking, <laughs> okay, I just remember that I opened a trade with a thousand and seventy-seven X leverage, and I was like, ah, this thing would have eaten my money. But um, you know, surprisingly, it's still actually moving. So for those of you who actually uh, did market order based on this setup we had on BTC or is BTC again. Okay. Um, yeah, if you did that, you should still be in profit. I want to see this time around if I can get that five hundred percent. Okay, I'm not going to manually close the street. I want to see if I can get that five hundred percent. What I've not tried is, you know, actually setting the stop loss on jump on jumpers to, you know, favor me. I don't know. There's no the option to put the price there. Um, yeah, there's no option to put a price, but let's see how it goes. Let's see how that goes. Okay. Yeah. Any, any other thing? Reef, I'll be looking for entry on Reef. Let's do, let's do 5%. And guys, look at that. Look at this, my 20 moving average, guys. Okay. This is a clear definition of what an uptrend is. All right. This is a clear definition of what uptrend is look at that look at this 20 i think this is 25 um uh the the moving average you see here the orange line is 25 eme okay yeah this is my 25 eme and price is trending that nicely okay price is trending on that stuff nicely so what i want to do okay i'm going to risk it and be looking for long trade once we kiss that you know moving average i'm doing this on the 15 minute on the five minutes time frame okay i'm doing that on the five minutes time frame and i'll be looking for a one at least a one to three anyways let's do a one to three okay uh one to three with a five percent uh uh stop loss 
one to three with a five percent stop loss okay so one to three we are looking at uh, 0 0.54 currently we are trading at 0. Uh, 0. 0.0046 okay so let's see if we have a bounce let's see if we have a bounce here and go up okay so that's what i'm looking at for reef i just wanted to share that in case you want to enter a trade uh you can decide if you do you know in this case based on what we have explained on stop losses and all of that if you do um what's it called five percent with the 10x leverage it means your your stop loss should be minus 50 percent okay and then your tp should be around uh 17 percent okay so 10 multiplied by 17 that should be what you'll be getting all right yeah so uh for those of you who have been holding uh, btc from last night okay if you have been holding btc from if you're able to actually enter remember we, we took btc around 60k or thereabout so if you are still holding congratulations okay keep adjusting your stop losses and hold btc let's see if eventually btc will actually fire to 80k before we have a major dump all right yeah Thank you so much for being here this afternoon. If there are no questions, no more contributions, I think we'll call it a day here. Uh, I just wanted to share these few tips with you. I hope you learned from it. Thank you for your time. And I'll see you guys hopefully later this evening. Thanks. Yeah.